Well, so then let's talk about phones that have their own little their own little design language. Uh, the HTC Bolt, which I have right here in my hands. The the HTC Zane Bolt. No, <laughs> because he's, he's he's involved in the marketing on this. Mm, good, yes, because good it's so him. fast. He, I know it's okay, so fast. Quite frankly, he should be involved because he was in the Olympics. And what do you do yeah. after the Olympics? You go on your press tour. You get a bunch of you get, you get money a, from yeah, companies phone to be in their ads. I mean, good for you. <laughs> although, although the other day I, I went to Google the HTC Bolt and I ended up with the HTC Thunderbolt in the results. Right, because that was such a <laughs> and it brought back phone. memories. Boy, did it oh, bring back some that memories. Phone, Jason. Now, fun that. fact, y'all, this is actually a member of the Thunderbolt family. Uh, so it's just, it's the bolt though. It's not the mm. thunderbolt. Yeah. Right. Cause um, is there, is there, are they worried about like brand confusion with Apple there with Thunderbolt? No. Yeah. no. I don't think so. I yeah. mean, I don't know. But, I mean, they call Samsung phones galaxies. So anyway, yeah. uh, so, all right. This is the phone, the HTC bolt. It is really very much tuned to HEC's design language. It's very futuristic looking, in my opinion. I forgot to take the sticker off, forgive me. Uh, but I love this matte finish. I love the fact that this reminds me of sort of a, um, I wanna say a tuned up Huawei uh, Nexus 6P. Uh, that's kind of what it feels like. It's a little heavier though, it's a little more dense. And one other issue about the HEC Bolt is that it gets gets very warm when you're using it, mm -hmm. especially when it's plugged in to the point that it's very uncomfortable to hold. Also, because of its size, you might find that you're constantly um, putting your pinky, like, cause I hold, I tripod my phones when I'm cradling really big phones, I tripod them like this. Mm -hmm. um, and oftentimes my pinky will cover the microphone right there and my Snapchats will be silent. Oh no. And then I have to redo oh, them again. Oh, be filtered. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which you know, yeah. can't do that to my 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 Snapchat. I would not peeps. want to. Uh, let's go down to the specs just very quickly. So it's got three gigs of RAM, thirty-two gigs of storage, sixty megapixel rear-facing camera with optical image stabilization, eight megapixel front-facing camera, thirty-two hundred milliamp battery pack, five point five inch Super LCD three uh, panel that's Quad HD. However, I will say there's a little bit of light fraying around the edges, which I'm a little bummed about. Um, it's also IP67 rated, but I have not tested any of that. Um, and actually I just looked, I'm just looking at these notes and for some reason I feel like that 67 is not the right number. I wanna say it's 57. I think it's 57, uh, it's 57. but it is the first Submerge, submergible yes. unibody aluminum yes, phone. Yes, because I, I am I am reading off the notes, but I remember from my meeting my at HTC, it's 57. My um, bad. Good job, Jason. You know. Doing doc, <laughs> doing all the work for us. Is, is that part of the all about Android drinking game where someone says like, good job on the notes, and then we all take a drink <laughs> or something like that? I've I wish, we don't always get alcohol, broadcast. which we should, because this is the night show. And, Seriously. I mean, but kombucha anyway. is technically kind of alcoholic, right? I did have kombucha today. I got a little buzz. It was great. Oh, I love that brand. Anyway, um, so a couple things though. You notice they didn't mention the processor. Okay, so this thing is running 7.0. So it's running, you can you can turn it on. It's the sensitive material is not gonna, it's, yeah. It has gross, disgusting Sprint apps all over it and Sprint like branding oh, and no. like, oh my gosh. Like it. It's that way just, I can show yeah. off. Here, just uh, okay, I, you're go. fine. I'm, in, I I'm in now. I just couldn't get in because yeah. the fingerprint. Um, I was really, ex I was really excited up until just now. I'm not hiding anything. Yeah, so you can go through the app drawer. So it's got this like you can change that sprint background, but the annoying thing is that you have to like sign into your HTC account and then like get theme set yeah. up, which is like WTF, mate. Um, and also, oh, wait, I haven't scroll, scroll down, J scroll down, Jason. Is even the calculator app theme sprint? <laughs> They're all like yellow themed, right? Yeah, look at that. Oh, by the way, did you notice no. it has oh. DraftKings? Yeah, well, Go back, show install. the DraftKings. It comes preloaded with DraftKings, y'all. That's gross. Well, Thank you. Paid, it is gross. They probably, they probably um, it's kind of sleazy, but I blame Sprint for all of that. Now, here's the thing where Sprint still <laughs> kind of cripples HTC. Here's the kicker, y'all. It's running a Snapdragon 810, which is fine. I mean, that's a two-year-old processor at this point, but I'm just sort of, you know... It's it's older. but it's not fine. It's, it's not, not fine. fine. I mean, and it's because listen of listen to your, your criticism about holding the phone while charging and it gets way too hot. And what what last 
uh, HTC phone did we experience that had some similar complaints? The M9, using which had the Snapdragon yeah, 810. A Precisely. But also the issue is that because the whole reason it has the 810 is because it's for Sprint to sell people on its, uh, its new LTE network. Mm. And apparently this chip, from what I understand... Uh, this chip is the only one that supports that band for Sprint. And that just seems like a very limited thing for HTC. Now, I'm working on the full review of this right now, uh, so I don't want to spoil everything on All About Android, but uh, I do think that this... I, I just... I really enjoy this phone. It just reminds me of, you know, a really, like, nice person who has who has a job, like, Killing puppies and Microsoft. for a living. Like I don't know what to say. Like it's I don't know what to say. <laughs> really well, that should be the really subhead of your review, by the way. It's like a really nice the person that kills puppies. Who kills puppies. Like yeah. I don't know. I don't know what wow. to say. Okay, that that wasn't a fair comparison. Okay, it's just Sprint completely marred this phone, and this is yet another example of how carriers ruin everything. And I'm just so darn sick of it all. I'm so can sick you un of it. Can you uninstall those pre-installed apps? Can you can you try take it? Off try and, try uninstalling Airbnb? DraftKings. Okay, so DraftKings. Hold, uninstall, yay. Okay, so at least you can okay. uninstall it. Right. Sorry, I'm oh, bringing up my Thunderbolt. <laughs> wow. Nice. Oh, is that what you ran Remember away to go get? Remember when people were complaining about how big the Thunderbolt was? Those are good times. I mean, the, the, the Thunderbolt is thick. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's got junk in the trunk. Look at that thing. <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. But didn't it need it because the battery would only last like 15 minutes or something if you connected it to... Uh... Uh, the glory days of smartphones. <laughs> yes, really look is. at that. Look at HEC Sense. I haven't seen that in wow. so long. Look at that bottom. Oh, yeah, man. I, I missed through, the, the flip clock too. Those I are went, good times. I went through my box of old phones and found this in there. And yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm surprised fire. it still has a charge. Key. I mean, seriously, this thing still has a charge. Dude, how, crazy. Crazy. how long has it been since this was booted up? I can't even remember. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, look there at that search go. bar. Wow, is, look at that. This is the old Thunderbolt, we've, and this is the new we've Thunderbolt. Come, we've come so far. It kind of has similar um, wallpapers, too. How did that happen? Oh, yeah? <laughs> kind of similar colors. Uh, wow, yeah. And then, you know, the best, the best part of the Thunderbolt, of course, yeah. Oh, I remember the kickstand. Oh, the kickstand. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm going to watch a you movie laugh, now. You laugh, but I still, I wish phones came with that built in. Let me now, I've been you. going back to cases just to get my kickstands back. I know, back. but it's not you sometimes. Yeah. You don't want a case, right? Uh, anyway, <laughs> this. HTC Sorry, Bolt retails for 600 bucks <laughs> at Sprint or $25 a month. Um, I just want to say in closing that I I really like this phone I have. Um, it kind of gives me a good glimpse of what we should be expecting from HTC next year. So, because everything about this phone is pretty grand, except for the fact that it gets super hot because the processor inside is slightly... Now, I've been super is. conflicted about this phone. Um, this has been a rough one for me because I, when feel? when we first got the leaks on or the rumors were starting to post about HTC coming out with this hardware, I was really hoping for that HTC-ified pixel, mm -hmm. you know, like w which we're getting kind of close to some of those numbers, like the 5.5 inch screen and sort of the general form factor, a chin bezel that actually has stuff down there. So it's not just wasted space. Um, I was really hoping for that. Uh, having started to play with it, I, I think some of the design des decisions are ultimately going to frustrate me out of making this device a top recommendation. I mean, first of all, their strategy for headphone audio is exactly not how I think we should be doing USB-C audio. I haven't tried it yet, so to be quite honest, because so, I'm still so in the pros of reviewing. No, no, no. The quality is good. Um, the, the quality is very good. We we would totally expect HTC to come in come in clutch on that. But mm -hmm. what I mean is, while we're watching Apple get rid of the headphone jack on one line of phones where your ear pods are no longer going to play nice with your MacBooks, you know, like that's just a thing that you now have to have separate headphones between Speaking your laptop of and your phone. <laughs> exactly. Um, I am a little less angsty about losing the headphone jack in USB-C land because I feel USB-C will be a proper standard. If mm -hmm. I want to plug USB-C headphones into a laptop, tablet, You'll be able smartphone, to. I'll be able to. Mm -hmm. Except for the USB-C headphones that came with the Bolt, which don't play on any of my other oh, phones that's a with USB-C ports. And the, the it didn't come with a headphone adapter because obviously HTC wants you to use their buds 
but none of the other adapters that I've had with with uh, USB C seem to play nice with this phone either. So I'm stuck with their earbuds at the moment, and I'm this is exactly not how we create a standard. You know, this is the opposite of a standard. Mm-hmm. This is a proprietary piece of hardware which is going to be locked to this phone. And when I lose those buds, I'm I'm kind of SOL until I can come up with something else. You have to buy so a that, new, you have to buy a new me. pair from HTC. And that to me is 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 a, a big ugly red X on one of my all time favorite features for phones is I want to know that I can use really nice headphones. I want to know that I can use the headphones I've invested my money in. um, And that'll leave me with just my Bluetooth cans, which are fine. It's not, but it's not consumer friendly. You're right though. It's not consumer friendly because most consumers don't want to be most consumers don't want to be tied <laughs> to one particular company for all of their things, especially those of us Android users who like having choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, counter well to said. what what the manufacturers think, which is it makes your life better to be in our because ecosystem. Because you're giving us more money. <laughs> yeah, we, we make so much more possible if you just give us all We make so much more money. money.